Hello, everyone. It's Danny here for another Tough Love Tuesday episode. I can't believe we're already up to episode 25. This has been so much fun, and I've been getting such incredible feedback about these little quick 10-minute snippets that I come in here and do every Tuesday, and I hope that you're really getting a lot out of them. Let me know in the comments below um, you know, what you're enjoying most and what's really hit home for you the most if you've been watching these for a couple weeks now. And if you're new to these uh, these videos and these segments, thank you for being here. And just know that everything that I'm sharing um, is with so much love. And this is why I call these Tough Love Tuesday segments, because there's some harsh truths that a lot of us have been skirting around or we don't have people in our lives to actually point things out that we're doing or avoiding or, you know, really resisting in our life that are a very important peace in our development and our growth and especially our journey to sugar freedom we have to acknowledge these pieces of ourselves and these things that we're doing or the self-sabotage that's coming up and that's my role as a good coach you know i show up and and with my clients i love having these tough conversations and really pointing things out that are really eye-opening um, and healing through that and working through those things so that's what i'm doing in a little baby way with all of you on these tough love tuesday segments and today i'm coming to you from my altar space in my office actually the corner of my office where i do my yoga meditation and i'm doing this intentionally not only because i've actually been standing all day and i could i just felt like really grounding on my meditation cushion uh right now but very specifically, we're talking about energy um, in today's tough love topic. And obviously, you've seen the title of this video, so you may have some ideas of what I'm talking about. Um, but let's let's just get right into it because the the little the little bit of tough love that I have to share with all of you today is that um, you may be, and and I'm willing to bet a lot of you watching this or listening because I used to do this, and I see so many people doing this. You may be out of complete energetic alignment with losing weight. So if you're someone who can really relate with, you know, struggling year after year, constantly trying to lose weight, trying to the next fad diet, trying, trying, trying all these things, uh, this could be one of the reasons that you're actually not losing weight. And I want to throw a spin at this. This is a very different way of looking at weight or even a different conversation to have about weight than you'll see in in the world, which is what I love to do. I love kind of planting different seeds and helping you see things a different way, maybe for yourself that actually makes the world of difference. So what I mean about being out of energetic alignment and very specifically what I've seen, and as those of you know, who've been watching these, uh, these segments for a couple of weeks or more, you know that I, I really get these topics inspired from the conversations I have with my clients every week. And actually yesterday, this conversation came up with a brand new client of mine. And, um, you know, it was a really powerful to see. And I could see her very, very much struggling with this. Why isn't my body losing weight? What am I doing wrong? What's wrong with me? I'm broken. There's something wrong with me. Like these, this energy that those sort of thought patterns carry and this almost um, forcing Okay, and I personally can speak to this energetic shift, um, not necessarily with my weight, but in business and with my relationship with money is this this energy. And here's the two sides of it. There's this energy that most of us are carrying around. And this is where I'm saying you may be out of energetic alignment. There's this energy of neediness, right, of neediness of I need this thing. I need it so bad. I need it. Uh, you know, I can't live without it. I've got to reach this goal. I have to get to this weight. I need to lose weight. This, this kind of this, this angry battle type energy, this fight energy of neediness and fighting and, and you know, thinking there's, you know, that there's something broken or there's something wrong with you because you can't seem to, you know, get rid of sugar. You can't seem to, whatever, insert any goal, okay, in this conversation. And then on the flip side, there's the energy of flow, okay? There's the energy of allowing and trusting. And this is the energetic space that it's actually very difficult to stay in, in our world. It's so easy to fight and to do the next thing and to search for some sort of other answer outside of ourselves or the next program that's going to solve all of our problems. It's easier to stay in that space because that's what society conditions us to do. And it's more difficult to actually sit back, trust and allow and lean into real deep love for yourself. Because I wholeheartedly believe and I've seen this, you know, in the clients that I've helped just take that pressure off the weight will follow. It is incredible. The energetics of weight loss, something that's not ever talked about and, and, you know, uh, is, is difficult to prove. Right. And that's probably why it's not talked about. But when we think about 
the state that our cells and our body get in when we're constantly fighting or needy, that kind of needy energy, like that annoying needy best friend or, or, or husband or, or boyfriend that you had back in like university, right? That was just so needy, um, right? And, and maybe you've been through that yourself within a relationship. I mean, it's so easy to kind of look at that. And how annoying is that? right? How much does that needy energy actually repel you from wanting to hang out with that person? Maybe it was a friend that you had back in the day that was always calling and always texting and needy, needy, needy. I need you for everything, right? I'm willing to bet energetically what you did was push that person away. You were like, no boy, that's too much. Like, no, thank you. And that's exactly what we do energetically with our goals, right? When we attach our talents into them and become this needy person obsessing over them all day long, thinking about them all day long, um, you know, and, and believing that we're just never going to get there, right? This energetics actually pushes away what we want. And on a cellular level, I mean, depending on where you're at and the, the conversations and the toxicity that's coming up for you in this conversation, even right now, um, a lot of this actually produces a stress response in the body. And what we know now, I mean, go and do your own research on this. We know that stress actually um, tells our cells to hold on to fat, right? It's a survival mechanism, a survival technique. So when we can actually relieve some pressure and like, and let some of this SHIT go and allow ourselves to obviously do the things that are going to be nourishing for our body. I'm not by no means saying, you know, just be relaxed and Zen out and eat McDonald's all day. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying on this journey, like you already know what you need to do to be healthy and to look after your body. And maybe you're still figuring some things out. You're on the right track, but you're still feeling this, you know, it's not showing up in your body. It's not showing up in, in weight lost. And this may be what's going on for you. You may be really in that needy energy more than you are in the loving, allowing, trusting energy. And that parasympathetic, that relaxed state of being in, okay, I know I'm doing the things, I'm moving my body, I'm eating good, I'm doing what I can, I'm trusting in this process that I'm on and this journey that I'm on. Ah, and it will be what it is, right? When we can really let go of the attachment and those expectations we put on ourselves, which is actually funny because you'll see this sticky note behind me here. It says expectations with an arrow to appreciation. One of the things that I constantly remind myself every morning is to trade in those expectations. And, and really be appreciative for where we're at and, you know, bringing in more of that gratitude and more of that connection and, and love for ourselves in a lighter way, because change doesn't come from force. It doesn't come from fighting our bodies. It comes from allowing our bodies in a loving environment to adjust back to their natural homeostasis, which is the natural place that our body wants to be. But when we're constantly fighting or, you know, putting in toxic foods or, you know, staying in this stressful environment or, you know, whatever's going on in your life. Um, you know, those are the areas that don't allow our body to just naturally balance back to homeostasis, right? When those things are happening. So try this on because, you know, I love this question and a couple of clients that I've really d gone deep into with this, you know, and I want to ask you right now, you know, this needy energy that maybe you're in this, this constant fight to lose weight, this constant searching for something new, how's it been working for you? Really, honestly, has that actually been working? And I usually get a laugh when I ask that question because no, it's not working. Most of us, that is not working and it's been driving us crazy and it's been really stressing us out and causing us a lot of inner turmoil, robbing us of our happiness and actually being counterproductive to the goal that we have, which may be losing weight or getting off sugar, all these things. So I encourage you because what do you have to lose, okay? What do you have to lose if you try this on? Try this mindset on, you know, for a week, for a month. Obviously the body takes a while to balance, but really let yourself off the hook with some of this. No, I'm not saying go and binge on McDonald's. Do the things that you know are good to your body and nourish your body. But this, this, this needing energy around losing weight and around any goal, let it go. Let it go and practice just trusting and allowing and loving yourself through the process and see what changes. I would love to hear, actually check back to this video in a month. If you try this on, check back and let me know how it went because I'm willing to bet that you will notice some very, very big changes just by energetically realigning yourself with, with love and with gentleness and with, you know, self-care and all of these, you know, positive pieces. You know, we can't really make change in a negative space, in a negative vibration and energy. We have to be doing that in a, in a place of gratitude and love and, and positivity. That's where change becomes effortless. So 
that's the little tidbit I wanted to share with you today. Obviously, this is a big conversation. I would love to keep the conversation going. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And also, if this resonates with you, like, are you like the rest of us human beings caught in this needy energy around weight or around any goal that you may have? Um, you know, this for me was really shown to me around money and around making money in my business when I first started. Like, I had this energy, like, I need it or I'm going to die. Like, that was my, that was, that was my mentality. And uh, when I started letting go of that, it's actually when things started flowing in, when I just let go of that neediness because I wasn't pushing away energetically that goal anymore or that, that piece that, that I wanted to bring into my life. So try this on. Let me know how it goes. And I would love to hear yeah, if this is showing up for you or your thoughts in the comments below like we do every week. So thank you again for tuning in for another one of these amazing episodes. I'm going to have to do more of them here, like down grounded on my meditation cushion. I like this spot. <laughs> I like this spot. Thank you everyone for being here and I look forward to seeing you again, same time, same place next week. Bye.